Hey everyone, welcome back to another Impact FX video. Sorry I have been gone for a while. Uh, my videos will probably be a bit more far apart these days due to uh, personal life, busy holiday time, Christmas time. So bear with me, but uh, like I said, my promise to you guys is to providing value to you. And in today's video, we are going to be going into strong highs and lows, the Impact FX way, on how I was able to help the group understand what the last couple weeks of mitigation uh, would look like. And so without further ado, let's dive into this and help you guys create another edge in the market where you can understand how mitigation works. All right, folks, so for the last couple of weeks in the mentorship group, my objective for the higher time frame on EU was to come into this strong high supply and fall to block flow, okay? So I was able to catch some really nice sells the last few weeks um, knowing and understanding that the probability of this demand zone once price left behind like this, okay, as you guys understand how I teach, this is inducement, right? We have a pullback and another high and that high did not mitigate its origin. Therefore, this is liquidity to be swept. It is not a low unless price is coming up into its area, its target, right? Price will guys will rally leaving behind certain areas until it reaches what have I said mitigation targets. The target of this mitigation you guys was a strong high and I will get into why but we're going to go and talk about this price action. It was a strong high as well as an origin flip zone. So if we go to the monthly chart we're into the origin of the monthly candle. So I was telling the mentorship group that we would have a push up from this flip zone here into the origin of the monthly candle. Now, what did we do, guys? It's December 9th. We have had a pullback. So the monthly candle has started to make a retracement back down. All right. So if we look at the weekly, all of a sudden price comes up. Up, look at how it hasn't mitigated these origins. It's coming up, gapping, pushing up into supply. Okay. Now, when we refine the high, the origin and the strong high to above the candle body, like I tell you guys in every YouTube video, that this is the highest probable zone to be selling from. Okay. Now, as price then sells off, we had some really nice sells. And on the lower time frames, we, as you can see in my lines, there's areas of interest that I was telling the group we can look for buys. And I caught a really nice one to 10 buy here on the news event, as you can see here, right in this zone here. And we're gonna go to the lower time frame. And we have an order flow delivery change. Now, obviously, my overall target, I wanted to go higher, but we ended up getting 1 to 14 out of this trade. I closed this position uh, with a partial at 1 to 10, and then the rest of it uh, I've left running, and then I ended up closing another little bit after we had an OFC break, and then it ended up coming back in. All right? So... We can understand, folks, how to get into now strong highs and strong lows. So let's go into what the rules are for strong highs and strong lows as price is making mitigation cycles. All right. OK, folks, so the rules of price, as we've talked about, and if you haven't understood or haven't seen any of my other videos, please, 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 folks, watch my other videos. I teach in a linear fashion. I have gone through a lot of the, fa the framework of how I trade in previous YouTube videos. So if you are confused about anything I am about to say, you need to watch my other videos and study them. All right. Now, this is a classic market structure, right? Lower high, lower low, boom. There's a trending market. Now, if we start to add the inducement phases into this market, okay, this is where 
I, the ideas of strong highs and strong lows happen, but it's slightly different than what you might think. This market here is a trending market. This market here is a perfect trending market because we swept this inducement liquidity for the origin and then we had a distribution to keep selling. However, there are cases in the marketplace where price will actually deliver like this. It will make inducement, it will sweep a high, and then it will right, wipe a low. So this here is where some people will say we've had a change of character because this inducement got taken and we had swept the last lower high, right? So then people are thinking, okay, cool. Well, then I'm going to buy the demand. Now, in some cases, that is absolutely okay to do. If price here, let me just clean off this chart for a second. If price had actually come into a valid, good, solid demand zone, then you could be looking for a new accumulation here, and you might want to then have your confirmation to wait for your accumulation, okay? However, folks, when price now takes out this low, this high becomes strong. OK, this is an area that we are looking for price to come into to continue now selling if price is not reached its higher time frame objective. So this model, folks, will typically happen on a lower time frame because what price is doing is it's manipulating the lower time frame traders while it's searching for its mitigation target of a higher time frame and it just keeps falling. So the inverse of what I just said is that if price is trending folks and we sweep inducement, we sweep a low and then we rally again, this becomes a strong low. We are looking now for actual uh, trades off these flips to continue. And if price breaks these highs, then we could potentially get into new expansion trades for the next higher time frame leg. Okay, the next higher time frame leg. So let's go through some examples on the chart and talk a bit about how this relates to like one minute structure, second structure, 15 minute structure, okay? So if we go to the weekly, let's start to look at what is taking place here. This weekly mitigation, actually ended up being a monthly mitigation, was coming into this flip zone. Now, this is an old flip zone that we in the mentorship had been selling off of because we knew that that six month flip zone was going to give us a really nice trade. And as you can see, this six month flip zone right here ended up giving a beautiful, uh, it was like 800 pip move to then what? This origin, okay? And as you can see, price came nicely back down into below the candle body, okay? And then it started to rally back up. All right, so let's just look at what took place. The six month guys, look what it's doing. As it's delivering sweeping inducement, sweeping higher time frame inducement off what? We're remember, we're on the weekly. So if we go to the one month chart, we're gonna notice that we have inducement for some of these left behind origins, okay? So price on the monthly, is coming back down to rebalance the market of a left behind flip zone, okay? But as it's doing that mitigation cycle from this high to this low, internally speaking, folks, if you look at price, it is creating some strong highs. So let's dive in and go back a couple candles, all right? So, as price, folks, is coming back down into this origin of price, right? Because these lows, look at this. This low swept that low. Okay, let's just go through this. Swept that low. It failed to run its high. It came back down one more time. And just taking this low out. 
okay? So this low, if you were on the lower time frame, is strong to keep buying because price wanted to make a new high. That would have been a good area to understand on a weekly time frame that you could have on the lower time frame kept buying, okay? But as price now, folks, is coming into these zones, because we have reached a target, price is going to most likely create some sort of distribution or reaccumulation here because there's a lot of demand here. So on the lower time frames, on the daily, we can start to look at what ends up taking place. Well, what is this? This high swept this candle's high and then boom, broke the low. So this candle's wick up, up above here should be strong. And as price keeps going, we end up having price sweep one more time. Now this candle sweeping this uh, high and coming into this origin, look at this. Okay. So we have come into this origin and created a new low. This candle as it's forming is a great opportunity on the daily to keep selling. Now, as price comes in, clearing out this imbalance, right, FVG, it starts to now reverse. Okay, we're going to have a quick rules break here, folks, because this is an important distinction I need to make sure people understand. If something is strong, if we create a strong high, okay, this strong high will only be strong for a mitigation target. So for instance, if we have a, uh, a monthly zone and price is coming back down to sweep this monthly inducement right here, so this is market, then inside of this leg of structure, okay, so I'm gonna mark this here for everyone to understand, this downtrend is the mitigation structure. Inside of that structure, so we're going to we're going to dive into so inside of this mitigation structure on the lower time frame, you're going to have some strong highs that were formed, okay? Those are going to be strong while price is reaching its target, okay? they're not gonna be strong indefinitely. So you're gonna to have to understand fractal price because you could have a one minute strong high. That one minute strong high gets taken out eventually for a 15 minute strong high. That 15 minute strong high gets taken out for a one hour strong high. And then maybe a one hour strong high gets taken out for what? A four hour strong high. But eventually the four hour strong high is gonna be the one that holds and then it just keeps going. So you're going to have to understand if you're a lower time frame trader, your strong highs will not be as valid for as long as other time frames. This is why I use the higher time frame to get my bias so that I can frame a 15 minute or one hour structure so that I can get really unbelievable good one minute and second time frame trades so that I can ride a 10, 15, 20 pip move knowing that maybe there's a one hour strong high. Therefore, the next candle on the one hour will deliver 30 pips because it's not going to break that high. You see what I'm saying? So let's get back into the video, but I needed to make sure people understand that there's rules around when a strong high is allowed to be broken based on fractal price. But what is it doing? Well, we know folks that this only mitigated the POC flip, the point of control where price broke out of this last candle's low. So this last candle's low got broken all of this, guys, above here is imbalance, okay? So price never actually filled the imbalance, and there is still price action in this wick to get mitigated because of how price delivered here. And if we go to the lower time frames, you can start to see that there's other higher time frame, or sorry, lower time frame, strong highs, okay? So these areas are areas of interest to sell from because these areas took liquidity.
okay? They took liquidity of a candle's high, broke the low, and we actually broke out of pure structure, not just the mitigation, okay? So if you're confused here, guys, this is a mitigation leg. This high coming into this candle wick is mitigating this directional mitigation cycle. This now is mitigating this candle's directional cycle. This sweeping these candles is price actually clearing out the imbalance of this origin. Then it decides to create more lows. So there's so many opportunities, guys, to buy and sell. Like if people understood how I trade, you would just be amazed at how many opportunities on a daily basis. Price came into this flip zone, guys, and it actually had 45 pip move to the downside. On the lower time frame, there is massive moves there to be had, okay? So as price is coming into this strong high, I would be marking this as a strong high area, right? So this would be an area we know based on structure, I would not want to see break. So I would be on the lower time frame, folks, looking for good quality setups. And as you can see, we had rollover of price. Therefore, on the 15 minute, you can clearly see we have an OFC and then we have an origin mitigation. So there's an absolute beautiful sell opportunity as price comes into where? where I teach you guys, which is origin flip zones. I teach this extensively in the mentorship group and extensively in the course. Look at what is taking place, folks. This OFC that happened right here. So we have an order flow change, folks. This is important for you to understand. As price swept these highs, swept these highs, held this high, remember this was the strong high area, right? Then we have a new sweep and a new low. Therefore, this is another strong high area, right? This is the one we marked. Okay, let's go back. So we have another strong high area. Now this strong high area, what did it do? Nothing came back to come into the origin of this candle bodies or this candles wick, right? It, it nothing came here. There's an FVG and we had no proper mitigation. So if we're looking for some really solid setups, we would be marking these zones as areas that we would look to short from. And as you can see, price here delivered beautifully. Once it comes into this area, it OFCs, comes back in, and we start a new mitigation cycle. Okay, now what we have to understand about these cycles, folks, is it's also going to have strong lows inside of it. As you can see, these areas took liquidity of a previous candle's low and then kept rallying. Therefore, there's buy opportunities in this leg as this leg is searching for its target, which is the strong high target. This is how you guys can understand how to get into lower time frame expansion trades. You can use the power of a lower or strong low and strong high to your advantage to understand where price might be searching for as well as price might reverse from. Now, as price comes into here, this would be an opportunity for you to partial manage your position or watch to see whether or not price comes back up into, let's say, this flip zone or if price wants to come into a POC. So if we go into the one hour chart, let's just see how this delivers, okay? So if I'm looking at this chart right here, this is an origin flip zone, okay? We have no mitigation of this wick right? Price has not created any sort of wick. So there's zero mitigation that occurred during that candles impulse leg. Now let's look at these candles importantly, because remember the guys like think about price. Okay. If this is a strong high, what is this? This from here to here is a leg, right? That's a mitigation leg only. That's not a breakout, right? We have to understand that that's not a breakout. Think about it. If this is a strong high that swept liquidity and put in a low, then this is all just inducement liquidity, right? That's money to be had so that price can take it and then keep going, right? Especially if we're in a down trend, right? So let's understand that if price now starts delivering strong highs, then we can keep selling. You see what I'm saying? So let's just look at how price delivers. Up, it's coming up. And we broke a low, right? So. Now we have another sell zone 
and we can mark it. We have like a POC flip and we've got our origin, right? So as price comes up into this wick, we could be looking for lower time frame continuation sell zones. Okay, boom. Would have had a really nice sell off that 14 pips. And if it keeps going, these can be 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 30. If you understand how to potentially hold lower time frame trades all the way down to origins, right? So if we keep monitoring the one hour chart, this thing is holding structure. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And we also now know that we do have some strong highs here. So let's say you're holding this trade. I really, when I hold trades, I really want to see uh, strong highs actually getting formed in my direction so that I can hold my trade longer or uh, trail it, or maybe I'll partial at new lows, and then I just keep letting it go, right? This is different ways that you guys, from a management perspective and an edge perspective, can actually hold those positions. So this price action breaking this previous candle's high, guys, is not a strong high yet. This is simply inducement. Remember, this high right here did not mitigate the origin. This is simply inducement liquidity. And on the four hour chart, on the four hour chart, this is inducement for this origin. So let's see how price delivers. Oh, okay, perfect. It did exactly what it should have done. It came into the origin and it stuck with the one hour mitigation cycle. Folks, this is not rocket science. It's how price moves. I teach it. I've been teaching it for over two years. And once you understand it, it is very simple to start to create a system where you can just wait for good POIs. You don't need to be sitting there hoping for trades. Create a system and follow the system. Because if you would have gone into this zone on a lower time frame, you're going to start to understand how to get into trades. Look what is taking place, right? We have our low pullback. Boom, this pullback did not mitigate anything, right? It mitigated a POC flip. Now, when price comes and sweeps this liquidity, what do we have? We have another mitigation leg from this uh, accumulation, from this accumulation that breaks out price, you could be selling for the mitigation and manage that structure. Or as price starts sweeping high, so we have a high sweep, we have a low sweep, we have another high sweep, we have a low sweep, we have lower time frame, strong highs being formed. Guys, look at how, and this is what's beautiful about the lower time frames. The lower time frames start to show you where and how you can use these systems and collect more data faster. Because if you're going to sit on the one month chart looking for strong highs, you're going to get a lot less strong highs. If you're going to look on the daily, you're going to have a, to wait a lot of days to get involved into a trade. But when you start to see how price delivers on the one minute chart, sweeping highs, taking lows, these are strong highs, strong highs, strong highs, strong highs, strong highs until what? It has reached its target. And this is what I want to say. Once price has reached some target of mitigation, it needs to sweep all of this for a higher time frame move. So all of a sudden you have a 15 or an hour mitigation cycle. And that's exactly what we had. That whole leg of structure, folks, that whole leg of structure on the one minute chart was only a mitigation. It was not a reversal. And this is what's so key for people who trade lower time frames. Everyone on the lower time frame I see come into the group thinks everything's a reversal. You're gonna get wiped out of your socks if you don't understand mitigation cycles. And inside of this cycle, there was strong lows that got formed. But those strong lows will eventually get broken for the new continuation higher time frame cycle. Okay? So we have to understand how to read the higher time frame, and this is why it's more important to get a higher time frame bias. I'm not gonna sit on the charts, folks, and trade one minute price action for one minute cycles. That doesn't make any sense. That would be a lot of little tiny 
one-to-one -one RR trades like this, right? Like you'd have a, a little tiny uh, one to 2.9 RR trade. Is that a probable trade? Absolutely. But ideally, I'd like to buy of one to five for the one hour cycle, and then I'd like to sell the one hour cycle for another one to five, right? This is how we can get more RR from a statistic point of view because we're gonna be trading mitigation legs of structure, not micro movements. We're going to be smarter. We're not gonna be dumb money. We're gonna be smart money. You see what I'm saying? We're gonna understand how the market moves and flows with the edges that I teach you guys in these videos so that you are smarter about your decision-making skills, okay? So, as price keeps going, price is now going to come back up to these zones. And as price came up to that zone, guys, it's still a 20 pip move. That is money. There is money there to be made on the 15 second chart, which I can't go to right now. I apologize. So, let's go back to the higher time frame lesson that we are talking about. When I mentioned to the mentorship group that these this area here is a strong high, and most people who have been with me for a long enough time understand that these are strong highs as they are forming. So as price comes into this origin flip zone on the monthly, let's go back, on the monthly, we also have a strong high on the weekly. That's a great confluence for us to be selling this market. So then as price starts delivering, folks, look what took place. As price starts to deliver, it's starting to create strong highs, right? We break out of structure, we sweep some liquidity, boom, more strong highs, more strong highs. So when you start to see these sweeps, folks, and then these breaks, start to understand you can get into flip zones, you can get into origin trades, you can get into block flow origin trades. But all of these, this origin, Okay, not being mitigated, breaking out of structure, sweeping internal liquidity, right? These are trade ideas, okay? If you stop looking to the left for every micro trade, you can start to get involved in the expansion trades as price continues to move, okay? So... Let's go into the daily and just look at examples. It's really important, guys, that you look at how price moves so that you can actually then create your edge around the movement of price, okay? It's not enough just to sit here and think, okay, lower high, lower low, lower high, oh, we're trending down. No, we need to understand the high probable target zones. And I've taught you the high probable target zones in these videos. If you go back to my mitigation video, if you have not watched that, we talk extensively about waiting for price to come into wicks, waiting for price when it's trending, see how it's holding the highs of each one of these wicks. That's important. That allows you to be involved in trends, but it also allows you to know that if price has not come into this wick, it's probably going to come up eventually, okay? So you don't have to necessarily believe that price is going to leave you behind. Now, in cases like this, folks, look what happens when price does leave these zones behind, right? Some of these, like this is, how many days was this? This, from this wick to all the way to the mitigation of that was 35 days, right? So price did eventually come back up into this wick and then give a nice sell, but that ended up reversing price and that's fine. But just remember, I'm teaching you guys an edge, not that you have to catch every single move. We need to be uh, mindful of trading responsibly and waiting for our setups to occur. So I hope this video has been helpful, helping you get a little bit more of an understanding in the marketplace on how price moves fractally as well as inside of individual uh, mitigation trends. Because the more information that each of you have, the more empowered you're going to be to be able to look at candles and understand how you can get involved in the marketplace. So, uh, so yeah, I hope that you all have a great holiday month here. I don't know if I'll have another video out before Christmas, but I appreciate you all. Thank you for the support. And I hope that you all have a great rest of your weeks.